Did you know that you can turn an empty aquarium into an entire indoor ecosystem? It's actually a lot easier to do than you think as long as you follow some simple steps. And when done right, the outcome can be extremely rewarding. It can definitely transform any room and the best part is is the maintenance is actually very minimal. Here's what I did to get started. I found a big piece of driftwood that would act as my water feature and secured it to the base using aquarium filter foam and a hot glue gun. I used more filter foam as well as some aquarium divider grid to start fleshing out my false bottom. I scored the glass with some aquarium safe silicone for later steps. I finished filling in the aquarium filter foam and added some window screen to separate my soil mixture from the water later on. The aquarium filter foam will allow water to pass underneath from my water section to the water pump. I finished constructing the hardscape with more aquarium filter foam and divider grid. Next I used Great Stuff expanding foam to tie in the backdrop to my false bottom. Before the foam had finished curing, I used a stir stick to manipulate certain areas into shape. When it had finished curing, I set to work with a razor blade to remove all the shiny bits. This part is definitely tedious, but very necessary. I also used the razor blade to carve out the river section on top. Then I used a mixture of cocoa peat and sphagnum moss and attached it to the cured foam using aquarium safe silicone. You want to make sure you really lather it on thick, and it's not a bad idea to repeat the process once or twice. You want to give it a few hours to cure, and then take a vacuum and vacuum out the excess. Once the vacuuming is complete, you'll finally start to really get a good idea of what your terrarium is going to look like. I also drilled a hole at the top of my driftwood where the river will connect to make sure that I don't get overspill and I get an even flow of water. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can check out part two and how I tie it all together.